St Mary's University College offers a wide range of excellent academic and vocational courses. It's now building on its heritage in education with well-respected master's degrees. We have a number of master's programmes, one of which is the Leading Innovation and Change programme, which is a part-time two-year programme which we offer to staff in schools. And uh, what staff will do, they will take an aspect of their practice and engage in small-scale inquiry for the purpose of making a difference to practice. But the main thing is, it's rooted in their practice, and that makes a big difference to uh, what the outcomes are for uh, both the staff and the students of schools. And it's invariably linked to a school development plan or improvement plan, where there's a high interest to drive change forwards. Have a look through those and just see what you think. Led by tutor Tony Forrest, this MA group at Maria Fidelis School in Camden is now in its second year of the programme. Well, we have a tutorial once every two weeks um, where our tutor comes to the school and then um, that happens after school for about two hours and then on um, the alternate um, Thursdays we have um, a kind of a meeting with our critical friend and we spend some time talking about what we've been doing and what we're intending to do. The situations are always changing so an expert will, will change with that. I keep referring to it as a CPD course because it is continuous professional development. You're reading, you're trying out new things, you're evaluating it, it's reflection, it's all those words that you, you're fed up of by the time you're finished teaching practice but actually it's really mm -hmm. important mm -hmm. and the MA has sort of reignited that again. Yeah. And it does make you look back at your teaching and to see what the students are gaining from it mm. and to actually listen to what the students want because sometimes you just deliver your lesson and that's it, you forget about it and now you're thinking about it, you're trying to see how you could improve it and to see what the students have actually gained from it. Yeah. Yeah. The management team here at St Mary's School in Carshalton completed their master's programme a couple of years ago. As always, part of the focus was on the practical research projects each student carried out. Okay guys, learning intention today is to be able to create number sentences to match a target number. Children love big maths, we do an awful lot of games, we do a lot of outside maths, um, we use P equipment, we take things out of the mathematical context and often put them into everyday context. They come to maths and say, are we going in the hall, uh, are we doing the parachute? So they're looking forward to maths and if you can start your maths lesson with that sort of attitude, I think you're onto a winner. Well done. It was included in the school development plan, which obviously then overarched all the improvement. We looked at creativity in the teaching, we looked at learning styles, we looked at empowering the children to use their knowledge and their ability to increase their attainment. And it's certainly moved us on. Our capacity for improvement has been acknowledged by Ofsted as well. The we hat, the with interest hat. I'm Dwight Aware. I have been teaching for the last 12 years. I did my teacher training in Jamaica and the US and I migrated to the United Kingdom about 10 years ago. Once staff have crossed the threshold and gone into the arena of critique and debate at master's level, there's a willingness to uh, carry on. And uh, experienced professionals will, will, will say that having gone through the process and travelled in a journey of uh, development, that they wish to continue. We have examples of staff who have completed master's programmes and gone on to undertake professional doctorates or doctorate programmes. My research was about taking risks. I created what I call student-led risky teaching. I'm doing a doctorate at the moment and it still has a link with my MA. The MA looked at pupil voice and the doctorate is still looking at pupil voice. The MA looked at pupil voice in terms of learning and teaching within a classroom context while my doctorate is looking at developing leadership within pupils via pupil voice. I was given the foundation here at St Mary's. The foundation was robust in terms of the literature that were given. They were quite fascinating literature and because of the research I did, that kind of propelled me into finding out more. I like to find out more and as educators, the more we find out about our students and their culture, the better it will be. So when I return to work, I will start a second phase of the research. It made me more confident in the fact that, yes, I can change things. If I look at things properly and I research them and I use the tools that I've been taught in the M MAs and look at the different paradigms and whatever else, to make your research valid, you have to do that. So it convinced me that if you do it properly, you can then change other people, change their mindset and get them to at least give it a go. 